Hello guys and welcome back to Pennies and Salt. I'm Megan and I am a homeschool mom of six kids ages, well, 10 and under now because he just had a birthday. <laughs> okay, so in my last curriculum video I shared, I think it was last week, I shared our family subjects for history and art. So if you haven't checked that video out yet, I will post the link down below so you can pop over there after this one's done and see what we're doing for history and art. So the thing that I'm going to cover today is actually what we're going to be doing for science, um, which also includes our nature study. So let's get started. So as I said, I am a homeschool mom of six kids. Four of them are actually school age. Next year, I will have a kindergartner, a first grader, a third grader, and a fifth grader. I will also have a taught schooler. She will be three in July, so I'm going to start doing a few little things with her that are a little more intentional than just the play that we do, the learning, play learning that we do. Um, and then I also have a now, he's one, he turned one, and it's so sad. So um, anyway, so just to kind of streamline things and make it a little easier for me, but also on our homeschool as a whole, I have changed over to doing family subjects with things like science, history, um, art, and of course nature study, and even some writing stuff. So I'm going to share our science with you. I am excited about next year. We're um, This year, we actually used um, the Good and the Beautiful science units, like the unit studies. We did Intro to Energy, Energy, and Meteorology. And this summer, we're going to be doing our Marine Biology um, just as something just to kind of keep us focused this summer because we do homeschool year-round. However, in the summer, we go down to just a couple of days a week, sometimes three. So that's what we're going to be doing with that. Now, I did enjoy the unit studies. However, I'm just not like completely in love with it. Um, I do want something that goes a little more in depth than what it does and spends more time on it. I feel like at times you'll go into some depth, but it doesn't like review it throughout. It doesn't come back up over and over again, you know, that kind of thing. So it's like learned things that just kind of are forgotten by the end of the year. Um, they, they of course do remember things from them, um, but not as much as what I would like for them to retain. So, um, it is good. It, it is a good curriculum, but, um, I just wanted something that was a little more focused in study. So, um, before last year, my oldest actually did Apologia. Um, and we did it through our co-op and then he would come home through the week because we, our co-op is one day a week. So he would go to co-op on Mondays, learn what he needed to learn, like the lesson part of it. And then throughout the week, he would work through that unit that he had been taught on Monday. He would work throughout the book, do the reading, do the assignments, the notebooking stuff. Um, so he did, um, anatomy, apology at anatomy. It was so intense. So it reminded me of the equivalent of the anatomy textbook that I had in high school, which um, is like crazy to me. Um, I think it's great though because um, it uses all the actual terms in anatomy, which I think is wonderful. But um, it is so, so in depth that a lot of times he was just kind of like lost in the mix. So, um, I do like Apologia. Apologia is something that we will definitely be using for high school, especially once we get to the high school level sciences. Um, although, my friend Colleen over at Our Blessed Life um, does, is it Shoreman, I think? I don't remember. I will find the video and link it below. 
it looks so much fun and it looks so cool so i'll link that video down below if you guys are looking for a high school science i don't know if you are but um <laughs> but i will link colleen's um video down below because it looks really cool sorry rabbit trail and side note so focusing back on what i have decided to go with this year so the reason that i switched from apologia which is very good and very robust is because I wanted something, I didn't want to focus on the same science the whole entire year. So the anatomy, it was very good, but you're learning anatomy the whole entire year. Um, so I wanted something that was a little more unit based. Um, so that's why we did the good and the beautiful unit studies. Now I don't feel like just doing those unit studies is in depth enough. So I have landed on the God's Design for Life series from Masterbooks. Now, if you are not familiar with this, they actually have teamed up with Ken Ham, and this is basically the units put out by Answers in Genesis Science Curriculum, okay, from Ken Ham. So, what they've done is it is about, you know, it is a theme for the year, life. However, it is not just like anatomy. It's going to go over basic biology of the world of plants, the human body, the world of animals. So, it's going to go over um, three different types of, of science focus that all have to do with life. Now, next year, we will probably do either the chemistry one or um, I don't remember what the other one was I was looking at. There's like four of them, I think. Um, but anyway, so I have just been really impressed with how this looks. Um, I think this will fulfill what my goal is that I'm trying to uh, attain here with doing um, science that's a little more focused but not too focused. Does that make sense? So, um, this is intended for 3rd through 8th grade. Okay, so when you do this, there is a teacher book and this is the student book, but really it's just like a textbook. Okay, so um, if you do this, you will. that's what you will get. So it says third through eighth grade. As you heard me say, I have a kindergartner, I have a kindergartner and a first grader. Now, my kindergartner is not going to be able to do these kinds of worksheets. There is lots of writing. She just would not be able to do that. I understand that. However, um, in kindergarten, we don't do a, necessarily a focused science curriculum anyway. So what my intention is with this is that my younger ones will sit in on lessons and I can adapt it to them as needed. Whether it be they notebook in their little science journal notebooks that I have them draw in and write diagrams and things like that in. Or if it is something that I think that they can do out of here, then I will have them do it. Like this, for example, it says stages of incomplete metamorphosis. Draw and color the different stages of incomplete metamorphosis. Egg, nymph, adult. My little ones could totally do that. Um, I say little ones, but Sophia and Marcus both are very like right on it with that kind of stuff. And I think it's because I've always kind of had them like sit in with us anyway on like the older kid lessons. Um, also, the stages of complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, adult, they can draw little pictures there. And so, some of these, they will absolutely be able to actually participate in. I feel like it is very adaptable for um, our family's needs. It says it takes approximately 45 to 60 minutes per lesson, four days a week with the daily schedule. Um, there are worksheets in here with supply lists that are included. There are quizzes and sectional final exams that reinforce learning and provide assessment. It contains answer keys for worksheets, quizzes, and tests, and is designed for grades three to eight in a one-year science course. Um, there are fun and educational activities and challenges that are incorporated into the course. So, um, that is a little bit more about this series. If you guys are interested, I can do a flip through of this. Um, 
but I am super excited about this. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I think that we will enjoy it a lot. I really honestly um, don't foresee it taking us an entire hour to do, though, after looking over some of the lessons, but I could be wrong. Um, but that's okay. We are a very science-loving family, so, and we homeschool year-round. So, if this gets drawn out more than a year, that is fine with us. All right, and so again, here is the student textbook. I do like how it's like this. So it has it um, color-coded in the sections of the world of plants, the human body, and the world of animals. So um, just so you can kind of see the beautiful coloration on the inside. And, of course, the human body part. Hold on. Um, and the human body. So, I think that we are really going to love this. And, so, yeah. Super excited about that. Now, one of the things that I want to be a lot more intentional with this year is our nature study. Nature study is something that we really, really enjoy, but we don't use a specific curriculum to do it because it is more of a, um, well, we live near the Great Smoky Mountains. If you have been a subscriber to my channel for any amount of time, you have probably seen one of our videos where we have gone to either take a hike or field trip or whatever. Um, I can link some of those down below as well. But um, we love to go explore in the mountains and get out and just get our hands and feet into nature. Um, and we have wonderful resources around us, our rangers in the parks, uh, in the national park and the state parks around us do all kinds of like nature walk and talks. Um, there's wildflower walks in the Smokies. There's, um, identif there's like salamander talks and walks. Um, because the Great Smoky Mountains is known as like the salamander capital, basically. So, um, anyway, so we have all of those kinds of resources at our fingertips. So, I've never really felt like we needed an actual curriculum. However, um, I do have, and this is just like some of the pages. I haven't printed the entire thing off. I've printed about 50 pages of it probably so far. Um, however, I do have the Exploring Nature with Children. Um, I don't know. This is a pretty well-known um, nature study curriculum. Um, and it breaks it down by weeks throughout. Like it has a month and then it breaks it down by weeks. I do love how, um, for example, May week two is focusing on caterpillars. Um, then there is a nature walk activity where um, you are focusing on caterpillar senses with sight, hearing, taste, smell, touch, um, and then it and then it refers to. Then it has um, reference pages for the handbook of nature study, um, and it has all kinds of things that they can look up that pertain to the study of caterpillars. Um, and then there is also a book list for the week as well that has all kinds of different books. Of course, um, we can't go to the library right now, but some of these are available. Um, well, some of these we have. Beyond that, there are also, there's also a biography that it gives a recommendation for. Um, there's a poem to enjoy for the week, um, which would be really fun to work as a family to try to memorize a poem during those weeks. Um, and then a piece of art to explore, and then extension activities for your children. I am super excited about um, implementing Exploring Nature with Children. I think that it is an excellent resource if you are looking for a really good um, nature study setup. It is very good. So um, I like how I like all the things that it includes, all the resources it gives you to um, take it beyond just what you print out. So on top of that, um, one of the resources we have, if you all do not have these books, I do highly, highly recommend them. 
Um, we love them. Like, love them. Uh, there's one about farm animals. Um, there's this nature and a nature anatomy book. I don't remember the other one. We don't have the other one. And then I just recently got, and I should have grabbed it, I just recently got the one that is Marine Life. And I got it because, well, first of all, we love them, but also because we're going to be doing that marine biology unit this summer. Um, so I got it for that. So that is what we are going to be doing for our science, for our nature study as a family. So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Um, also, I just do want to add um, with our nature study, I always get them. I should have grabbed it to show you guys. Um, but it's also in some of my other videos, but they make them, it's like a five by seven size, um, sketchbook that has a little pocket in the front so they can write their name and stick it down in the front. Um, but I get them at Walmart every year and they are only like $2 and 50 cents. Maybe I get one for each kid, but it's like a sketch notebook. That's a five by seven. And they use that as their nature notebook. So they paint in it, they draw in it, they, you know, all the things. So that is what we're going to be using for next year for our science and nature study curriculum. I hope that you found this helpful. If you are not a subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and you will know when there are new videos. I will be sharing throughout the week what I am using with each child in their grade level. So if you are interested in that, you might want to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on future videos. Thanks so much, guys.